that I do to get in the mood and the ambiance to uh, create my jewelry. First of all, I do want to uh, make sure that I'm in a positive place. So I tend to uh, put on some really good music or even maybe one of the TV shows that I like to watch. So I make sure that everything around me is positive, that, you know, I have my flowers around me. I may spray some of my pillow spray in the room just to have that calming effect. I just want to make sure that I'm in a really good, uh, happy place when I get ready to work on my jewelry. Mm -hmm. Preparing to create any of my jewelry. I never do it if I'm in um, not a, a positive um, might. I really like to make sure that I'm in good spirits. I have good vibrations. I'm in a place of peace before I even attempt to create or even touch my beads. That's very important. Organization is key when you're dealing with so many different types of beads and gems and gemstones. So many different sizes. Um, you really have to stay organized. So I am constantly <laughs> reorganizing my um, bead inventory because it's super important and I like to know everything that I have so that um, I can do a mental inventory whenever I'm working one-on-one -on -one with a client and they're expressing um, what their vision is for their uh Piece, whether it's a bracelet, a necklace, um, or a waist bead. When I'm working with them one-on-one, -on -one, I like to already know kind of what I have. So when I'm in the creative stage, when I'm trying to uh, design my waist beads um, and also my bracelets, um, it normally takes um, probably, I would say on average, maybe anywhere from 45 minutes to two hours. Sometimes I may do some research, you know, um, colors all have meaning. So sometimes I put in that research um, for it. Um, if it's inspired by um, someone in particular, I may want to do some research on a person. Um, if it's for a client, then if they can give me a little bit of information about their own inspiration. So all of that all together, I'd say anywhere between 45 minutes to two hours on each design. Sometimes guys, when working with gemstones, your thread or elastics may not go through the hole entirely because these are hand drilled. And sometimes I have to use a, um, a tool that I have to finish the hole out. And it can take some time. But I like to just take my time with each bead. I don't rush the process. It's coming along. So I should be done with the waist beads uh, for the Goddess Collection too. In probably the next 30 minutes, I'm going to call Ashanti and see if she can come by and tell me what she thinks. Hey, hey. how you doing? Great. Oh, so guess what? <laughs> 
I got a surprise for you. I am done with your collection. Oh my God, already? Yes, it really did take long because you were great at telling me your vision and how you wanted this collection to look. Isn't that right, Nike? <laughs> so I was able to put all it together and I'm really hoping that you're going to be satisfied with it. So oh are you my ready? God. I cannot wait. Oh my God. Okay. Goddess collection too. Oh my God, here we go. Oh my God.